Hi and welcome back to Chili Chumps Beginner's Guide to Growing Chili Peppers from Seed to Sauce. So today we're outside and uh, it's in the middle of our season now so it's the first of July for me so it's about five or six months since you started your seed and you should have a plant that looks a little bit like this. So the plant for me is about 60 centimeters high or about two foot and this is when you're going to start seeing flowers. So a challenge you may have, especially if you're growing your plants indoors or in covering, um, sometimes even in a greenhouse where you haven't got a lot of insects around, you're going to have a problem with your flowers pollinating. On the one hand, chili peppers are actually rather easy to pollinate because they're promiscuous, which means they're able to take pollen from almost any other chili plant and be able to pollinate themselves. And even better than that, they can actually self-pollinate. So the same flower can actually pollinate itself. Now that's important because one of the ways to pollinate your plants is just give them a bit of a shake. So something like that and you should be able to get them to pollinate. That doesn't always work. Some chili plants uh, are a bit more challenging than others to get them to pollinate. So I'm going to show you a couple methods today which will help you out. So this here is our plant and we can see here, I already have actually a couple peppers getting going on here and if you're lucky you have as well. So this gives you an indication of what happens from the point that you have a flower like that. So this flower over here, uh, what happens is this flower will turn into a pepper. And now this is one you can see that has, it has turned into a flower, it has been pollinated so I'll just move that leaf out the way. That one there has been pollinated. You can see the petals are dying off. I can actually take them off. And if we look inside, we can see the little pepper starting. So that there is going to grow into a lovely jalapeno. And that's what you want all your flowers to do. So I'm going to switch cameras and look at look at one of these flowers with my macro lens to give you a better a better indication of what we're trying to do here so on the outside bit there that's the stamen which is effectively the male part this is the part that produces pollen and this outer bit here right in the middle that's the stigma now essentially what you want to happen is get the pollen that is right at the back there we want to get that pollen to land on the stigma and what happens then is it pollinates the flower and this will then turn in to a nice chili pepper so if you are growing your chilies indoors then what you can do to help this out is you can use something like a, a cotton bud so an earbud you can use one of those just to get inside the actual flower brush up against the stamen Now, if you look, I'll try and get that into focus. And what you want to do then is just brush it up against the stigma itself in the middle there. See, there's the stigma. Now, all I need to do is brush up against that. And that is enough to pollinate the flower. Now, I'm obviously doing it in a bit of a complicated manner because I'm trying to film it at the same time. But really, it's as easy as just moving this around inside the flower don't damage the stamen or the stigma try not to damage anything in there and just just touch up against them and that'll at least move the pollen around and it should pollinate the flower the other way you can do it I typically don't like doing this because you might have something on your fingers but you could go and just stick a finger in there and move things around if you do have insects, that's obviously the best way to do it. Allow the bees inside there. But a lot of other insects will also help with pollination. So the other way to do it is just give your plant a good old shake. And that should too help them to pollinate. So that's all there is to pollinating your flowers. You can use the earbud like I was using. You can use a little paintbrush, uh, like the little paintbrushes used for watercolors, I guess. Um, anything like that just something soft you don't want to be damaging your flowers by putting something hard in there and 
breaking something. I hope you're having a great season. I hope that the plants are growing really well and I hope that you're getting lots of peppers very soon. We'll see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching.